Well, hello my friends. This is my second pole building video and in this one I'll show you how I build the rafters and install them and how I install the steel roof and sides. I'm going to show you how I build my rafters for this shed roof. Now, my shed roof will look like this here. And it's really half of a regular roof. And so if you were going to build a building and put a roof on it, you'd build your rafters the same way as I'm going to show you right here. Now we're, we know we're spanning a distance of 12 feet. My building is 12 foot wide here. And so when they say uh, that a, a roof has a pitch of say 312, what they're talking about is for every foot of distance across that building, which they refer, refer to as the run, this distance here, so for every foot we're going to go up three inches and so if you were to uh, actually add this up it would be three six nine twelve fifteen eighteen twenty one twenty four twenty seven thirty thirty three and thirty six so you just take you know you're going to be going up three inches for every foot so three times twelve is thirty six inches so we're rising up thirty six inches uh, in this particular case but that's what they refer to as a three twelve pitch roof so in order to know where to cut off these posts I knew that they had to be thirty six inches lower than the peak of that roof which is up there on that plate on the back of the building there. So I use my circular saw to cut around this post and the blade won't reach all the way to the middle so I have to finish it off with this reciprocating saw here. And so I go down through and uh, cut off all three 6x6 six six posts. Now I've got a 2x6 that I'm attaching to these posts right even with the uh, top of the post on the outside there. I screw a screw in to set them on to uh, help me hold up there while I get them nailed in. And then this is a 2x8 right here that uh, goes across the top of the post and then I nail down through into that 2x6 down below and that'll make a real good uh, plate there for those rafters to sit on. So we'll get the other one measured here. Again, this is a 2x8. And I set it right up there on top of those posts. And then right out even with the edge of the uh, 2x6 down below. Make a real strong header there. Now this is rough sawed uh, hemlock lumber here. And I get it from the local Amish mill. And when they say 2x8, they mean it's a full two inches by eight inches. Now I've got a uh, treated two by four right there running along the bottom of the building and that's uh, at floor level. And now I measure up and it's 62 to the top of the post and with another two inches for the uh, header it makes it 64 inches. So that's how high that outside wall is. So if I measure up here, 64 inches, that's the height of that other wall. And if I go on up here, it should be 36 inches if my planning is worked out right. And, uh, and it is, it's 36 inches. So we say that this will have a 36 inch rise on this roof. Alright, now for the fun part, actually laying out these rafters. You take your square like this and you measure over three inches and then down this side of the square you measure 12 because it's a 312 pitch roof and so I have these little gizmos that I can clamp on my square and that that enables me to move that square and just shove it up against the uh, rafter board and I don't have to mess around with with lining up on 312 every time those, those little buttons there, they just let you slide right up against like that and easily uh, keep that 312 angle going. So I mark across here. This is up at the uh, peak of the roof. And uh, 
and, and draw a line there. All right, so I got my square up against, there's a line. Now go down to the 12 and make a mark on the outside. And you're going to step down and make 12 of these lines. And at the 12th one is where your outside of your uh, wall is. So there's number one right there. And you just keep doing that all the way down. One, two, three, four, five, six, and keep right on going. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Then when you get down there, that's where it sits on the wall. That's number twelve. And so it's a uh, two by eight is what I'm making these rafters out of. And so we've got to cut the bird's mouth out. And that's the part that sits on the wall. And you take a third of that uh, two by eight, which is about two and five eighths, and measure up that line, two and five eighths inches. Now you line up your uh, square on the inside like that and draw a line. And then you have, uh, my phone's going off, there we go. That's the part you're going to cut off, cut out for the bird's mouth right there. So once again, we laid the square down and I'm counting all of those step downs that I've done. Right there, number 12, where it sits on the wall. There's a bird's mouth. And then this is the overhang. So you go ahead and cut this, this rafter. And this becomes the template for all the other rafters. So you make real good straight cuts here. And because uh, you're going to be laying this this rafter down on the top of all the other ones and, and tracing around these cuts and you can quick and easy uh, lay out all all uh, ten rafters. I've got ten of these to cut out. So here's this bird's mouth going down through there and uh, just cutting to the lines making sure I cut real careful. And this is green lumber. This is a Samish lumber and so sometimes you'll be going right along it's, and it can be real wet and uh, the saw kind of lugs down and so on. There we go. We go right to that point there. Now I'm going to take my reciprocating saw. And oh no, I guess this time I use my, my shark tooth saw. And just finish that bird's mouth. So if you did your figuring right, you get a nice, clean, tight fit there. And the other end, this time I decided to use these rafter hangers here, these, these metal hangers. And uh, it helped me this time to uh, be able to set these big 2x8s up in there and uh, get them nailed in and so on. So if you if you work smarter, not harder, uh, one guy can can do a job like this. Uh, I know it, it. It's easier if you have two or three people, one guy on each end of that two by eight and so on. But if you just lift one end at a time, uh, you can you can get the uh, rafter up in there without straining too bad. <laughs> Now sometimes you have to make a, some adjustments there on that first rafter that you cut out and uh, just so long as you make that adjustment and then use that as a template for all the rest of them. They all have to be the same. Down on this end I just toe nail in a couple nails on both sides of the 2x8 into the top of that plate there. Now when I put those brackets up, I learned that you put one, so you nail one side and leave the other side over so that that allows you to drop that 2x8 down in there. And then you can pull it over and nail it afterwards. So I just nail one side to begin with. So there we go, we've got all the rafters up. And so next we'll be nailing up those 1x4s. 
So now I nail on those one by fours horizontally across the roof, starting down at the edge and working my way up. I'm almost up at the top now. Now these are two feet on center. And so when I go to uh, put the metal roof up there, I'll be able to nail to that grid there. Okay, so my overhang is going to be four inches. So I'll go up to the six inch mark there. And that'll be right in the center of that uh, board that I'm going to screw to up on the roof. You'll see what I mean. And I learned a long time ago, if I just take the time here and measure these out, I will have a nice looking roof when I'm done as far as all those screws being lined up. So now I just have to mark every two feet, because I know my grid up there is on two feet, two feet on center. And so I'll just mark this whole sheet. And that's how you screw them down. Now that's the part that goes against the roof right there. And then the other side overlaps it. You'll see what I mean here in a minute. The uh, metal roofing, roofing is not heavy at all. So it's easy to maneuver and shove up there on the roof. And of course with this 312 pitch I can get right up on there and walk around so this is going to be an, an easy roof to uh, screw down so here we go that's how that overlaps right there so now I just make sure I've got my four inch overhang and then you can see the mark right there and so I uh, Start to put the screws in. Now these screws have a little rubber washer on them. And so when you screw them down, you, you screw that in just until you see that rubber compress a little bit. You don't uh, squeeze that rubber right out completely. You just, just enough to... Uh, Make sure that that rubber washer is going to seal around that screw. And so now it's just a matter of uh, putting a screw in all those places that I've marked ahead of time there with my permanent marker. It just makes uh, everything line up and look good when you're done. So in just a matter of half hour so I can put these seven sheets up. Now right here this shows you those four by six uh, timbers that I put in there to hold the the earth back on the outside because that's high, higher out there than it is inside my building. Here you can kind of see. I have to bring in some dirt and fill in there. And then I'm going to put in a piece of trim that looks like this right here. And then the metal on the back of the building. And there's that trim up at the top. It angles down off the building and then uh, onto the top of the roof. So those, those are those timbers. They're b below grade. You just have to fill right up to, to the the right uh, height there on the back of the building so that I get run off into that ditch. Alright, I got my metal siding on and that goes on just like the just like the roof metal. You put on your first piece and then just overlap and and go right around the building. Didn't take any time at all to put that on. That's what it looks like inside the building. And there we go, that's the outside. So I hope this this uh, video kind of will help you if you go to build your own uh, building or own lean-to like this. This is how I go about it. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.